Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be making Valentine's Day stickers. And look how cute this is. So these are the stickers right here, and then I peeled one off. Um, I mean, gosh, every school kid, right? So this is a uh, Valentine's Day candy inside, and it says, you know, from your friend Charlotte. So I wanna show you how to do it. I do wanna talk about this little black line right here. So this black line is called the registration mark. And what it does is when you put it on your mat to be cut, so this is after you printed it from your printer, you take it to your Cricut so that it can cut the beautiful circles perfectly all around for you. The registration mark, what happens is you put this on your mat and then the sensors are gonna read where all your pieces are. And the registration marks helps to align all the circles and all your stickers on there so that's why you need it so when people say they don't want it on there don't worry they're not that's for the machine to read then it's going to cut perfectly and i've already cut these so i don't know if you can see you can kind of see where it's bending these are already cut so let's show you how to do this um it took me a long time to do print and cut with cricut i don't know why it was so scary to me to add in a component of using my printer but some tips <laughs> i really do like my circles um or simple shapes because i want it just to make a quick easy cut you can do intricate things inside the circle and then kind of you know visually you won't realize that it's a circle but that makes it so much easier and it's just less errors involved like you're just from a cutting perspective because if it doesn't cut well you need to redo the whole thing you need to print reprint it and then recut it so it's not like a simple little adjustment so for me i really do try to avoid it i like my simple shapes on the outside all right so let's go and build this little sticker so the first thing is i do i love my white background um but <laughs> let's bring in our circle and don't worry about the sizing at first. If everything is proportionate to each other, we can resize the whole thing at the end, okay? So let's just make this really big to match this one. And then I want it white. And it will go all the way to the back because everything that we bring on will be a new layer on top. But if you wanted to, you can always send this to the back. You want it to the back because you want everything to sit on top of it so that Design Space knows to cut the circle and not the individual bird and each letter, okay? So that's really important when we go to flatten it. So um, these are all Cricut images. So it's the Valentine's bird. Oops, that would help if I spelled it correctly. I think this bird is so cute. Um, ah, I must, it must not have this. or the yes valentine bird <laughs> there you go insert it so here's our little bird now this banner i mean what i love about print and cut and flattening images is that you can tailor all these things to your own um whatever you want i like the way this is like all the different colors but if you wanted to change the color you can easily change it over here just click on it and say, well, um, I don't want to change it because I love all the colors, but let's say we wanted to change that little beak to a brighter color. So instead of this one, you want this one. You just change it. You can change anything on here, whatever color, and then you can flatten it. So right now, this does not look as cute as this, right? It's okay, we're gonna flatten at the end. So we have this, let's bring in some banners. So let's go to images and type in banner oops now i had two different types of banners i may have used this one i don't even remember but it really doesn't matter so let's get that one in and one more um i don't think i used that one but that's fine i'm going to insert that one so we've inserted two two sets of banners because i want two different ones and um, it's being brought in, I think, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so here's the first one, and let's resize it. Now, I don't want it to go all the way to the edge, if you can see over here, because I don't want this messing up with my cut at all. I, it has to be inside my circle, okay? 
So just make sure that it's inside your circle. All right, so then this one is gonna go up on top, make it a little bit bigger, but not too big, because again, I want it inside my circle. Okay, how cute is that? All right, but I wanna change it to my Valentine's Day colors. So I'm just gonna start clicking on things. This one, I want it to be like more of my blue, my turquoise. This one's already blue, red, let's see. So I don't want orange. Orange, maybe I want um, this purple. And then this is white. So here's this one. This is looking pretty good. Let's go to this banner. So this banner, I don't want orange. I want maybe this blue. Green doesn't work with my color scheme, so I'm gonna change it to pink. This one, and maybe hit the shift key and grab both yellows and change that to a brighter pink. And then orange is the only one that's left that's not working for me. Maybe I'll change that to a pink. There. Okay, so now this is all matching. Then I'm gonna bring in my text. So I did Lemon Crush on this one. It is a font um, not from Design Space. I am having issues typing today. Um, I can't remember if it's from Defont or Creative Fabrica. So I'm gonna to need to research that. Um, but, Okay, so I'm gonna type it in, and it's right over here. So there it is, it's coming up. And I wanted to change the colors of this as well. So I'm gonna move this up so you can see, oh, come on. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so I'm moving it over here. I wanted each word to be different, so what you need to do is you actually need to ungroup it. And then after I change the colors, then I'll group it back together. So this one, and I'm just gonna look at my color scheme. It basically, if I pick one of these colors, it's gonna be within, um, within this cute little color scheme. All right, so let's do the next set. This one's purple. And this one is like a darker pink. Okay, now when I first cut this, my Y was too close to here. So just keep that in mind, like you want everything inside the circle. It doesn't matter if this gets cut off or this gets cut off, but the Y is kind of essential to our message. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that it is not on the edge like I originally had. All right, so this one we need to resize. Oh, so let's grab this whole thing and let's group it together so that it moves together as one, it gets resized as one. And we're gonna make it smaller so it fits in our little sticker. And normally I would type out the whole message, but because I already did this and I know how this font works, the spacing is so crazy. It's like double the space. So if I hit enter to return to go to the next line, it gives me like a huge paragraph in between. So, all right, let's do the next one, Valentine's Day. And I mistyped it. <laughs> I'm normally a very good typist, I promise. I think I just need to feed my brain right now. <laughs> um, all right, it's coming up. It's showing behind my picture, but it's slow right now. Oh, where did it go? It's here. Okay, here we go. And uh, somehow I did day to <laughs> completely capitalize, so. Let's go fix that. All right, where's my text box? Pop up. There we go. Oh, and with 
with an exclamation mark. And this one, while it's selected, I might as well just pick the color. Did you guys, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I swear it was lowercase. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can resize it. It didn't update my color, which is funny. And then your friend Charlotte. I'm done typing, but it's not caught up. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Is it here? Where did it go? It's here. But how cute is this, right? But you can see the difference. I mean, I really want to show you this. Things look so different when you flatten it. So you might not be happy with it right away. Like it looks kind of weird and you think, oh, I don't, this sticker is not really doing it for me. Just flatten it so you get a feel for what that image is gonna look like. All right, so here's my thing. This one was in red. I remember doing that. And then let's reshape this or resize it. Oh, and this one, I think I did the alignment, I centered it. And I think I even ungrouped it. And do you see the spacing? How I, I, yeah, I don't like it. So let's do that. Let's move this completely out of the way ungroup it uh, I was just gonna say did I delete it okay so now I just want to grab Charlotte and I want to move it up a little bit I don't like the spacing of this font okay once I'm good though I want to grab the whole thing and I'll just group it just to make sure in case I need to resize it or something it's just easier Move it up into the sticker. Uh, how did I move the circle? Okay, let me move the circle the way I want it to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna move this up a little bit more because I don't want that E to get cut off in Charlotte. Okay, here we go. Okay, that to me looks really good. So I'm gonna grab this whole thing and I'm gonna flatten. If you don't flatten, what will happen? Or if you flatten pieces of it, it will cut around whatever that piece is. So we don't want this to cut around the banner and then cut around the letter H. We want this to cut just the circle. And why is it not flattening? Did I not? Oh, okay, there. Oh gosh, I hope it doesn't unflatten now. <gasps> I think it did. All right, let's see what happens. And then I'm gonna show you. So I think we just had an up the design space update um, and I tested it out. When I did 12 stickers, it actually spaced it correctly in the make it screen. So, all right, so I'm gonna get rid of this big one. Here's our nice, cut and print so it doesn't look like it's still separated it should be one thing i think so let me grab this again and flatten because it was showing individual pieces maybe it unflattened when i hit it we're going to resize it i sized it to two inches two inches then it lets me have 12 on one paper I feel like this is the maximum. I mean, maybe I could have done it a little bit more, but this is pretty much the most that you're gonna get on in on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Okay, so you see now it flattened to one thing. It's one flat image, it's cutting around my circle. 
So I'm gonna change this to two inches. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the Make It screen. Even though I want 12, I'm not gonna make 12 copies here. It's really gonna slow down your, your um, computer. So you really don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the Make It screen as soon as I can. <laughs> Soon. It's going to resize itself. There we go. Let's go to make it. And I'm going to change the project copies up here in the top left corner. I know it's like sorting. It's literally one sticker right now. What are you sorting? <laughs> but we had a lot of layers and um, I don't really know how it works, but it just seems like the more layers you have, the more complicated your file is, even though you flattened it into one image. So I've noticed that my print and cut, they take a long time when I have a lot of things going on. So here I'm gonna change to 12 and click on apply. If I had to do 36, I probably would not change this to 36 because um, I did 24. And what I did was I just did 12 and then I printed it again using the same one. I just reprinted. Um, so it's going to happen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's like making me a total liar. Um, but I really love doing print and cut. The change, honestly, has been the fact that I found needle labels. So... Um, I do get paid when you guys use my link. It's not that much, but I get a small, small, small percentage. But the thing is, whether or not you use my link, you have to use needle labels because it makes such a difference. Every All my stickers now, anytime that I use their labels, it looks so professional. It's the same printer. I have the Workforce, the Epson Workforce 7720. I've had it for years. So if you go back through my Instagram and you look at any time I use print and cut, it's always been that printer. Um, but I am so in love with these stickers or the, the paper that I use print and cut so much more now. So if I do a cake topper and I have Tiana, I will do Tiana print and cut on the label and then I will just sticker it on to, you know, cardstock and then, um, use this part of my cake topper. It looks so nice. All right, so I don't know what's going on with my thing. It will show up 12 and then you're gonna print it. So you can see how slow it is. You definitely don't wanna do 36. <laughs> all right, let me know what you think. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see all my pictures because I know a lot of times um, from YouTube, I get comments or emails saying, hey, I would like to see what the project looks like. If you followed me on Instagram, so it's instagram.com slash the useless crafter. And then you can see multiple image images of um, of the projects. All right, I'm gonna go because this is dying out on me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.